Welcome to day two of our Read the New Testament by Pentecost Challenge. I hope that you've found a comfortable place and time to read, that you have a notebook going with things you notice and questions you'd like to revisit later. Today we read Paul's letter to the Galatians. Borg notes that the exact dating of this letter is uncertain. Various scholars argue for as early as the late 40s, and his latest 59, but the consensus is early 50s. Borg chooses to put it second because he believes its message of justification by faith is central to Paul's experience. Note that this is the only of the seven letters that scholars all agree Paul wrote firsthand that is written to a group of communities rather than a single one. Galatia was a region in Central Asia Minor that contained several cities. The Christ followers in these communities had come into deep conflict since Paul's earlier visit. His own ministry was under attack. Perhaps because of this, this is the only of his letters that doesn't have an extensive Thanksgiving section. Nearly all the believers in Galatia were Gentiles. It's thought that most had been God-fearers, that is, people who worshipped the God of Israel but had not fully converted to Judaism. There were strong differences of opinion between Paul and other Christian teachers over the requirement to be Christ followers. Did people first have to be circumcised and follow the other Jewish practices? Clearly an urgent and divisive question for these early communities, and one that we will revisit several times. A key insight is that Paul argues forcefully for justification by faith. We see him working out the effects of Christ's offering in the midst of deep conflicts. The contrast between grace and law found here have been profoundly influential throughout Christian history. They, and similar, perhaps more familiar texts in Romans, were especially important in Martin Luther's argument during the Protestant Reformation. Some, including Luther at time, have placed so great an emphasis on justification by faith that it seemed like all a Christian had to do was believe correctly, and they were done. Wesley agreed with the Reformers that we are seen as righteous before God because of what Christ has done for us, but insisted that justification also meant receiving a clear assurance of forgiveness that led to a calm peace. Further, Wesley emphasized, often drawing from the epistle of James that we'll read later, that a Christian necessarily responds to God's gift of assurance by following the law of love, which is the distinguishing mark of Christ's disciples. In other words, we bear the good fruit that we'll read about in Galatians 6, 22 and 23, living those out in all of our relationships. We will ponder faith and works many times along this journey. Blessing on your reading.